Hey everyone, I just want to show you this homemade heater built from a toaster. So a fellow tuber uh, wanted me to try to put together a heater from a toaster. Now I'm assuming that they wanted it to be 12 volts. So now I converted this old toaster here to operate on 12 volts as a heater. And I'll just show you it quickly. And I've just put a fan on the bottom and this little piece of strapping here to keep the toaster from let the air flow underneath. Now I converted the toaster to operate on 12 volts. Um, it's a very common voltage and a lot of solar panels and cars and, and whatever will be using that voltage. So it's not the optimal voltage you want to use because of such high current that you're going to have, uh, unfortunately, because of the low voltage. Uh, but this could be converted also to 24 volts or 48 volts. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so first, before I turn it on, I'm just going to show you how many ohms the actual heater is. Okay, so I'll just show you the temperature in here um, in the shed. There's no heat on, so, um, and this is um, December. And what I'll do is I'm going to turn on the heater, and then um, we'll see how hot these elements, how much heat that's going to come off of the elements in this temperature. you got to remember that cold air is going to be rushing up from the bottom and then blowing past these elements here. So I have a car battery hooked up to these jumper cables here. Uh, also a little 10 amp battery charger that's been charging it for a while. Um, and I'm just going to turn on the heater now. Connect up the positive wire here. And you can see, I'll show you the... So it's been converted over to 12 volts. I'm only using the coil on this side and the coil on this side. The center coil in the toaster is not being used. Um, it's just the two outer elements and they've been rewired to operate on 12 volts. So you can see that the heater is working and the elements are slightly glowing and that's good. And now I've checked the wire going into the actual heater to make sure that it's not getting hot. Okay, so it's been on for uh, a minute or so. Okay, so you can see that the temperature is right up. Oops. So now I'm assuming that they wanted me to convert this to 12 volts. Uh, if not, if they just wanted me to run this on 120 volts, it would have been an easy conversion. Uh, I'll do that maybe for another video. I'll convert just a toaster to a heater, but this is the 12 volt model and it works and it's good for hooking to a 12 volt battery bank because it's a, a very common voltage 12 volts. And if you're using solar panels or homemade panels or maybe a, an engine with an alternator on it and you're using 12 volts, then this is a very easy thing to put together and it'll save inverters. If you're gonna use an inverter to run a heater, you're gonna wear out that inverter quickly and they can be expensive, those large inverters. Uh, they're gonna run you some bucks. So. So this thing here, if it burns out, you throw it away. But this is going to last a long time because it's very simple. So now, the only reason why I didn't wire this up to actually run all the elements on 12 volts is there'd just be too much current there. And it's not safe to have that much current. Uh, you'd have to have really heavy wire to actually hold, uh, carry that amount of current. So um, you don't want to be doing that. And so you just want a medium where it just throws out some heat and it's not going to be unsafe. So now this is just an example and what I do is I like to take old things, old junk like this and then convert it into something useful. Most of the stuff I do and build is out of free stuff. This is totally free. Uh, everything I already had around and it's very easy to find items. So now I'm just going to show you how it was built and I'm not going to drag it on too long so if you do want more details you can just leave a comment and I'll try to help you out. So I've taken the toaster apart and I have the insides of the toaster out and this is an older style toaster it's a mechanical um, type and it has no electronics but even the electronic the plastic toasters have um, a similar chassis to this made of steel and with the elements and but yet it uses electronics to um, let it pop up. How this one works is when you push the toast down it locks 
And then what happens is as the toast is heating up, this piece of metal here, this bimetallic, there's a piece of bimetallic metal in here. So when it heats up, it then starts moving this way towards this set of points. And there's a set of points here you can see. And this makes contact over here and then also over to this solenoid here or electromagnet here. So what happens is once this contact touches and makes a connection here, this electromagnet then energizes. And then you can see once it energizes, it pulls this piece of metal forward and then the toast pops up. So it's, it's pretty simple. So now if we look at the coils, how they're wired for 120 volts AC, is we're going to see that we have a start point here, or it's an end point, and you can see that the coil then goes around, comes over here, and then back, and then up and around and up and around like an S over this whole thing. So this is one continuous heating element on this, this one piece of mica here, sheet. And what happens is it ends up here, so at this rivet here. So you can see that the coil, you can see the, where the coil contacts right there. And you can see down here where the coil contacts. So the coil is then connected right there. So this is one solid coil. This is one complete coil here. And then the next one, this one here in the center is different because the one in the center actually wraps around. So the coil, instead of, instead of wired in this way here, it wraps around the piece of uh, mica sheet. So, so it's basically the same, but it's not like an S. It just goes around and around and around and around. And then it, it ends. So it, it starts here and ends here. And the same with this one. This is the, the same on this side. So so each coil in here, I believe, is then 100, is being provided with 120 volts AC. So now, once we understand this, then we know that to, to turn this into a heater, right now, it's not going to work because we have 10 times less the voltage we're going to be putting into this. So with 10 times less voltage, this thing will, won't do anything. There'll be too much resistance. So what we have to do is we have to shorten these coils. So I'm going to go ahead and rewire these elements, and then I'm going to explain exactly how I did it. So I've converted one side of the toaster element here to 12 volts, and what I've done is I've used these little bolts here, these little nuts and bolts and I've crimped them to the element. So if you look here on this side, the element is right here where it, it goes wraps around. I've crimped the washers onto that. So the washer and the little bolts are holding onto that, those little elements there to make a, a nice connection, like a solid connection. It has to be really tight because there's gonna be a lot of current. So I've taken these bolts here and I've crimped it to the element and then I've put another set of washers and, and I've then connected this piece of copper wire to join them all together. So you can see how that was done. And it's just crimped onto the element. So you can see that the elements are all connected on that side and they're connected on that side. So in the end, we have two wires coming out of here for this one element. So I have a battery over here. There's a charger hooked to it as well. And what I'm going to do is I, I connected some wires to the battery. And now I'm just going to test out the, um, the heater here. So you can see that, if we look in here, how, how much current that's really glowing red. So you can see that it works, but unfortunately there's a lot of current being drawn here. This this thick wire here is getting really hot, so it's not really safe to, to run this like this. Um, and especially when I hook up the other side, there's going to be a lot of current drawing on this because of the low voltage. I think what I'm going to do is wire these a little differently. I might connect them in series 
and only run uh, half of the elements, so at half power. Instead of glowing so bright, I just want them to a slight little glow, and, and that'll cut down on the current. So on this side here, I did not put another piece of copper wire underneath of this one on the other side of the bolt here so that these washers are on an angle now. They're tightened and it's crimped on an angle. But on this side here, the wa it's flush. So it's better to put a piece of wire underneath and then your, your lead wire that goes out to make the connection. So you, you see the two pieces of wire here and they're just sandwiched in between the washer. So it makes it easier to tighten this down. So the only way that I could come up with without welding was just to crimp these little bolts here and washers. So the bolts I use, here's the bolts and the washers. There's a, a package of bolts and that's the size. And there's the washers. So now I've connected the both sides in series because the current was just way too high and the, the elements were glowing really red. So now it's just the two sides in series. So before I put the cover on, I'll just show you. I've, now I changed the configuration. I just uh, ran in series this side here, uh, coil bank, to this coil bank. And then I've just connected my positive and negative here. Uh, so so what I've done now is I've just mounted a fan onto a piece of sheet metal. This is actually off of a CD drive, a DVD ROM drive or whatever. And I've just mounted the fan onto that. So now before I put the cover on, I'm going to connect up the wires for the fan, which is pretty simple. The positive wire is going to go in here and then the negative over here. And so that will then... Um, push some air through the through the uh, heating elements. So I've got it all together and I've just put a piece of strapping on the bottom, that round all uh, stuff to hold it up. You could put another piece so it, it sits level but you still have to add a switch of some sort or some alligator clips like this so then you can just clip it onto a battery. So that was a look at the 12 volt toaster heater and thank you for watching.